everyone. Um, I just wanted to go through a few stretching exercises you can do after the class once your body's all nice and warm and supple or after you've warmed up um, before you go into anything strenuous to make sure you're all limber and uh, loose. Um, the first one I like to do is the feet apart stretch. Um, toes pointing up to the ceiling, uh, knees straight. Um, what I tend to do is I'll go same side, uh, hand and foot, this way. So I reach down, try not to bend the back too much and try and keep it as straight as you can. It will bend a little bit. We just hold that down there. Um, I normally do it for a count of 15. If you want to do it longer, you can, but um, it needs to be at least 15 seconds for it to have any sort of effect. Um, if you can't reach your foot, of course, just grab hold of your leg or your ankle. Then we go to the other side. And then again, I'd normally do that for a count of 15. And then the same to the centre. Now, when you go to the centre, um, it's important that your feet don't roll inwards. They need to stay pointing up to the ceiling. Again, try not to arch the back too much. Try and keep upright if you can. Just reach forwards. Again, I normally do it for a count of 15. Okay. The next one I like to do is uh, feet, apart, uh, feet together stretch. So I bring the bottoms of the feet together, pull them into the center as far as you can. And you just try to gently push the elbows into the legs, into the knees to push them outwards or downwards. Often when I'm doing this on the class, I'm sitting here with my legs in a sort of V-shaped position and I've got junior students that have got their knees on the floor, which is really unfair, but uh, it's just the way that <laughs> the way that things are. Again, I normally hold that for about 15 seconds. I know I keep talking in between, so it probably isn't. It's probably either about 30 or five. <laughs> okay, and normally I'd have a little bit of a re relax, a little bit of a loosen off and then I'd go again. Okay, again, for the same amount of time. Also, we've got uh, feet out in front. Again, we reach forwards, grab hold of the ball of the foot, or grab hold of the ankles or the uh, bottoms of the legs if you can't reach that. Again, keep your head up and just pull gently into the stretch. Good. So again, with all the stretches that I'm showing you, make sure that there's no sharp pains. If you go straight into it and there's a sharp pain, then you're likely to hurt yourself. So you should always do it gradually, no matter what stretch it is. And you gradually ease yourself down into the stretch. If the legs begin to feel uncomfortable, that's about the zone you need to be in. Uh, if it does hurt, you need to back off or stop. Okay, so do use your common sense on these. Okay, um, another good stretch that I like to use is similar to what hurdlers use. We have one leg out in front and one leg tucked behind. And it's great for the, the hip uh, mobilization for the turning kicks. That's the, the position a turning kick would normally start in, uh, cocked up to the side this way. So we can stretch forwards again, if you can reach the ball of the foot. or to the knee. Now, when you go to the bent knee, it's really awkward because the body isn't designed to bend that way. So you just have to go a little bit, just so you can feel a little tiny bit of uh, tension, uncomfortableness, but don't force it because that's when injuries do occur. Okay, then you just change the legs, repeat on the other side. I'm not a naturally flexible person, um, so I do have to do <laughs> quite a lot of this, or otherwise my legs seize up. Good, and relax. So, another good one is feet apart this way. Excuse the squeaking. So we're just supporting ourselves with the hands so we don't go too low. And again, we just walk the hands over to one side, hold the ankle or the foot. 
And then we'd move across to the other side. Again, I know I'm not doing it for 15 seconds at the moment. I just want to share a few of these stretches with you. Okay, what we can do to stretch a little bit more in the center, we can lower ourselves down onto our elbows. Our body weight rests a little bit more on the hips and the feet might slide out slightly more. Now, if you're not very flexible, you've got weak joints and things, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I'd keep your hands supporting you the whole time. Okay, from there, we're gonna just twist to one side. So uh, we're in a sort of a long sort of lunge sort of stride position. We lower our shoulder, try and get it level or lower than the knee. Good. Then we sit back onto the heel and stretch forward again. And switch across onto the other heel. You can change that as many times as you want. In this sequence, I'm just going to go back into the first part of the stretching. Okay, good. So, I hope that was useful for you. I know it was just a, a quick couple of minutes with a few stretches. And if you've got any questions, just drop them in the comments below or email me directly. Um, I hope to see most of you guys back in the Dojang very soon. Thank you very much.